They'd have written to the bishop long before this if I'd let them. Don't think they haven't heard what happened in your last parish. He has absolutely no patience. Of course I've got patience. I married you, didn't I? OK, Jack. Don't attack. <clears throat> Looking down at me with his bright blue eyes as I tied his shoelaces. Crisscross under the bridge and then you pull it tight. But unless you give me your solemn, honest to go promise that you'll keep fighting off the liquor, I'll not be preventing them any longer from writing to the bishop. It was a lot of food for thought to do my list. <laughs> Exactly starving over here, you know. And we ain't just talking a week. We're talking close on two months. And all the while, me in a constant state of pregnancy. No thanks. And that's just what I'll have got. I'm thrilled that you can all make it here tonight, gentlemen. Have you been able to do that? Well, yes, yes, I kept my notebook with me everywhere I went. Just so he wasn't tempted. Oh, you should have heard. Poor Father Murphy and the beautiful voice he had. I remembered him as a small lad on his first day at school. Am I foaming at the mouth? 30 minutes to get ready for work and two hours <laughs> when we have to go anywhere. <laughs> So now, I want you to pick up your instruments and form in light. You, over there, stand up straight. I said, stand up. You can stand at the altar, all right, gabbling your way through as quickly as you possibly can so you can get back to your breakfast. But you don't believe a word that you're saying. Remember. You're not simply clarinet players or band twirlers. You have a mission, a purpose. They want a priest here with a faith in him. Don't pretend you haven't understood what I'm saying. Blimey day, Nicola. Look at the state of you. I'll just hold on tight. And push myself up. I was up. I found a new hiding place. Father, what kind of a priest are you? You got no energy because you don't eat your dinners. And you got no joy in your soul. And if that ain't enough, well, it were all over. God made his covenant with <laughs> the men. I knew he would. What kind of pills? Oh, they're round and they're flat. Hmm. No, Mum. Like, do you know what's in them? Harry! I am Sarah Goldfarb, not Albert Einstein. How should I know what's in them? I remember them well. I did his laundry for him every week, you see. Well, it was one less thing for him to worry about. What are mothers for? March out with your flutes and your heads held high and fall to your fated death. All for me. Specialist? What kind of specialist? What kind? A specialist for weight. Bloody hell! Where do you think you're going? She grabbed my arm ever so roughly. I told you to stay in your chair. 